There are two views per output. The view we're in at the moment is the desktop view. The other view is the full screen view. And we access these by pressing A and S. A will take us into the full screen view. S will take us out to the desktop. These are very important keys to remember. So let's press A and take us into the full screen view. Q and W will toggle our heads up display on and off. So Q will turn the heads up display off, W will turn the heads up display on. And uh, it's in full screen view that we do most of our programming if we're in standalone mode. So let's just have a look at our layers window. Now you'll remember that in our content drive we went and set a library and a file. Well this is where we pick the, that library and file up from. So if we click on this one here that says 000, zero images we see a list of the files that we have on our system. Sorry I just clicked on the files one. I actually want the top one there. So there's all the folders that we had in our content drive and so let's say we want to have some clouds. So we'll choose some clouds and now we need to select the file uh, and those clouds I think are quite nice. So we can now scale those clouds up and maybe we might want to take a little bit of red and a little bit of green out of those. So a layer really is just a playback that allows real-time manipulation over that content. Down here we get some a little bit of information about the file. Uh, we can tell it's a JPEG, so it's a still movie. Um, and we can see its resolution there, 1024 by 768. The fader here will fade the image in or out. And there's various things that we can do to manipulate our, uh, our content. We can apply a visual effect, the FX1 and FX2 parameters relate to that visual effect. We can move our content left or right using the X parameter. We can move our content up or down using the Y parameter. We've already seen we can change the scale, we can make it bigger or we can make it smaller. We could change the aspect of our content. We can change the rotation. By right clicking on the parameter we can type in a value. Uh, if we have the visual effect set to keystone we can use these keystone parameters to keystone our clip. So we'll just pull the bottom one up a bit there. Take that out of it, pull it out, for instance. Or we might apply a color effect, such as we might want to make it black and white. Or we might want to invert the colors, Oops, that doesn't do very much for us. We might want to make the white transparent might want to make the black transparent 
or we could just keep it as normal. We can strobe our content and if this were a movie we could play this in several different modes. We could play it forward, we could play it reverse, we could play it only once forward and then stop at the end frame. We could play it once reverse, stop at the beginning frame. Uh, we could set it to play a random frame. So let's add another layer to this. Uh, this by the way is it doesn't turn the layer on or off, it's just for viewing the layer. So let's add another piece of content in. Uh, so we'll choose, for instance, some trees here. And let's choose that tree there. And I'm going to scale that up. Now what we really want to do, this is all very well and good, but it's not coming out of an output at the moment. So the easiest thing for us to do is to jump back into the desktop view, come up to Catalyst here, and we're going to tell this first DVI output, which is the one we're looking at, that it's going to output all the layers mixed together with the effects. And if we now jump back into full screen view these blue bars here and this will flash red occasionally to show us that we don't have a dongle attached we now route our two layers to one and there we have it so all we can see at the moment is this black and white tree that we've got here and that's all very well and good, but we want to see the clouds. Now the reason we can only see the black and white tree is because layer 2 sits on top of layer 1, if you think about it like layers in Photoshop. So layer 2 is a, is a higher layer than layer 1, so if we, can, if we pull down the intensity of that we'll, we'll start to see the clouds. And this is how we would do a a, uh, a crossfade in Catalyst, we would simply bring up another bit of content on top and pull out the one behind. But in this case we actually want to see both at once, so we could just put the tree down a bit in level to give us a mixed image, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the white in the tree image to be transparent. So I click on the color effect for layer 2 and I select transparent whites. And look, there we go. We've got we can now see that the white has turned transparent so we can see through to the clouds. And we might just scale that tree up a bit. There we go. And we've now created very quickly and very easily a composite image.